the animal kingdom is full of mysteries that have long perplexed researchers and casual observers alike. As intricate as our own species is, the hundreds of other species out there, both large and small, only serve to generate millions upon millions of questions to be answered. No matter how much we think that we know, there will always be discoveries made that continue to call that knowledge into question, leaving us to continue to move forward in this seemingly never-ending search for insight into how animals live. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be looking into three recent animal discoveries and what they mean for our understanding of their respective species. Gang of Chimpanzees Kills Their Alpha Male It's almost universally acknowledged that in the animal kingdom, the alpha male rules all unless somebody bigger and stronger comes along and challenges him, becoming the new alpha male. However, the animal kingdom is full of surprises, and recently, a wild chimpanzee group baffled researchers with their peculiar and shocking behavior. Pimu was the alpha male of Tanzanian chimpanzee troop living in the wild near the Lake Tanganyika region. He had held that title from 2007 up until his dramatic and tragic overthrowing, which was caught on video in 2011. Evidently, having had enough of Pimu's rule, the alpha male was attacked by four lesser members of the chimpanzee troop who ganged up against him to overpower and violently beat him and take his life. It appeared that the attack occurred as an escalation of a fight that Pimu started with the male who acted as his second in command. Pimu overpowered the lesser chimpanzee in the fight, causing the secondary male to flee the pack, but these other four males stood up in defense of the banished male. They charged Pimu, overwhelming him with sheer force of numbers, beating him and biting his hands and feet until he ultimately passed away from his injuries. Because this was such a shocking and unexpected way for the alpha male to be overthrown, researchers with the University of Kent in Canterbury, led by Stefano Kaburu, performed an autopsy on Pimu's body and began studying the circumstances and group dynamics that led up to the incident, hoping to better understand why such an event might have occurred. Although incredibly rare, this was not the first recorded case of members of a chimpanzee pack overthrowing their alpha male. It seems to be a delicate balance with multiple males in one group. The males are forced to compete with each other for female mates leading them to become violent and occasionally even killing each other. However, rival chimpanzee groups also attack each other, meaning that there must be a certain number of males around to protect the group and fend off outside attacks. Kaburu has hypothesized that perhaps the fatal fight with Pimu escalated so quickly due to the absence of close chimpanzee neighbors. The group may have felt less threatened by the chance of invasion, leaving them with no qualms about overthrowing their leader in a surprising uprising. Studying these behaviors is important for researchers, as chimpanzees and other primates are humans' closest animal relatives. And it is often hard to capture rare incidences such as Pimu's overthrow in a way that can be closely studied and understood. Although many people like to believe that humans and apes behave vastly differently, understanding the inner workings of the brains that evolved into our own could stand to tell us a great deal about how our own brains operate and how we evolved from mere primates into the strangely unique humans that we are today. Chimps start wars for power Although instances of chimpanzees ganging up to harm and take the life of their alpha are rare, male chimps as a whole can become very violent, and the struggle for power appears never-ending. Additionally, it has been widely noted that chimpanzees share many similar behaviors to humans, from using tools to forming strong community and familial bonds. However, it seems that one more major characteristic that we share with our primate relatives is the occasional outbreak of conflict in the name of increasing personal power. This interesting development was observed and carefully recorded by Dr. Jane Goodall in the Kasakila group, a clan of chimpanzees in Gombe National Park in Tanzania. The clan had once been a cohesive, unified chimpanzee community, 
but increasing tension in the dynamics slowly dissolved these relationships into what became the only known example of a chimpanzee conflict. After analyzing the meticulous data collection on the social networks of the clan, researchers discovered that, in the years prior to the development of the violent rift, the once cohesive community had started showing signs of the formation of defined subgroups. What started as cliques developing out of an abnormal male-to-female ratio amongst the group quickly escalated into factions. These factions generally followed the social networks that had been in place earlier, as chimps who had previously tended to favor each other stuck together. Each faction controlled certain territory and engaged in fatal clashes with other groups for land grabs and increased power as the growing friction developed into a full-fledged chimpanzee conflict. The strife caused the community to split into two main groups, what was left of the original Kasakela community and a group of separatists that became known as the Kahama community. However, the Kahama community only consisted of six adult males and three adult females to Kasakela's eight males and twelve females, and over the course of a violent four years, all of the males of the Kahama community lost their lives, and the Kasakela group expanded into their territory. Although the Kasakela were eventually driven back by a third rival chimpanzee group, the events are not unlike those of historical conflict in the name of increased land and domination. Even the particulars were shockingly and unflatteringly human-like. The first blood of the conflict occurred when six Kasakela males were sent to ambush another Kahama male and blatantly celebrated with boisterous hoots and screams once they had slain the opposing male. This shocking start to the four-year Gombe civil conflict, which would become renowned for its insight into chimpanzee behavior, was the first recorded time that any of the chimps in the group had been sent to deliberately take the life of a fellow male. Comparing chimpanzees to humans might seem like comparing apples to oranges, the research that Dr. Goodall conducted on the social relationships and behaviors that led to the split revealed patterns of communities splintering that are not unlike what is seen in human groups. Perhaps these distantly related primates can teach us a great deal more about ourselves than people have realized. Secret polar bear population has been found in an impossible location. When it comes to the global polar bear population, one thing that most people can agree on is the fact that it seems like nothing but bad news for their future as the large floating platforms of ice that they rely on for hunting slowly dwindle year after year. It was thought that this was virtually their only habitat option, leaving them with a dire future. However, a secret population of polar bears was recently discovered in Greenland, and it had been hiding in plain sight simply because nobody had thought to look there as it was assumed that the location would be impossible for polar bear survival. This so-called secret population of polar bears makes their home among the steep slopes that surround coastal areas where the glaciers meet the ocean and hunts amongst the glacial ice that fractures in these areas. They were considered to be hiding in plain sight because scientists had always known they were there, they just did not realize that they were their own separate population because the region lacked the typical staples of polar bear hunting grounds. 36 years worth of tracking data from GPS collars placed on bears in the region was analyzed, leading to the shocking discovery that what had previously been one population of polar bears was in fact two. Those polar bears from southeast Greenland stayed below the latitude of 64 degrees north, while their counterparts from the northeast stayed above this apparent line of demarcation. Following this realization, researchers performed genetic sampling on the bears from both populations and confirmed that they were in fact genetically distinct from each other. Prior to this knowledge, scientists had identified only 19 distinct subpopulations of polar bears, but uncovering this secret population brought the current count up to 20. The study that revealed this secret subset of polar bears might offer some hope to the dwindling populations of polar bears elsewhere, as it might offer the promise that other subpopulations could be able to adapt to the changing climate and destruction of their hunting ground. However, polar bears are in no less danger of dwindling down to nothing. Kristin Laidra, 
lead researcher of the study that discovered the secret population of polar bears, emphasized that this discovery is not able to be generalized to the larger population, saying, Glacier ice may help small numbers of polar bears survive for longer periods under climate warming, but it is not available for the vast majority of polar bears. While only a small glimmer of hope for the future of polar bears, this recent study does provide a chance for researchers to study the impact of the looming climate crisis on animals like polar bears who stand to go extinct sooner rather than later unless something is done to save their habitat. But what do you make of these interesting discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.